Gemini, hi. So this is going to be a reading for January 9th through the 15th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the info. The info? The link for that. The info. In the description box below if you want the info. And yeah, there's, there's info. Anyways, let's see, Gemini. Uh, let's see what's going on. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Three of Wands. There seems to be a little bit of a pause, as if nothing's happening, even though there's energies moving around here. But for you, it may seem like, or maybe you're coming out of this period of a little bit of numbness by the looks of it. In the recent past, the Ten of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Hangman. Yeah, dealing with the loss here at some point. And I feel like you've been sitting with it for, for quite a while, which is okay, you know, it's your time to do whatever you want with it. If you need that time, take it. Um, but it's it, it does seem like a little, at least emotional numbness, um, a little bit of, you know what, I won't do much. I'll just sit here with what is, and I'll just kind of be here with this. And okay, okay. In the current situation, however, the Knight of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Page of Cups. There's energy that you're getting of love. Um, not sure if it's from one source or multiple, like friends, family, or if it's one particular one. But you're looking at it and you're like, hmm, could be better, <laughs> you know? Um, where it's shown up at something, and then the way you're taking it is a notch higher in this energy would be great. You know, it would be more appreciated. Um, so I don't, know, I don't know what this is about, but it's interesting. Um, in the immediate future, the Magician, the Two of Swords, the Five of Wands. Ooh, this is a tough one. Because I see you manifesting and I'm not sure if there's a lot of conflict within this manifestation in terms of, I don't even know what the fuck I want anymore. Or if you're trying to manifest and as this manifestation is coming through, it's reaching you, but through a lot of obstacles and conflict. Let's clarify. Let me see the three of wands. For the Three of Wands, you get the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. Um, there's a little bit of expectation behind this energy. It's almost looking like there's something. There's something about your environment, the, the energy you're surrounding yourself with. Overall, there's a sense of appreciation and a sense of, yes, I have it there in place for me. It's very supportive, very good, you know, as... A support system, uh, whatever, whatever. There's there's a sense of recognition over it, but there's also a little bit of expectation over it. And as it shows up in the current situation, kind of heads in that direction of, yeah, it could be a little better, you know. Um, hmm. So it seems like you've been under this expectation of something from your support system for a little while there. I don't know. Let's see. Let me see that Ten of Swords there in the recent past. The Eight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, almost like a forest coming out of something. There's an energy that represents stability for you. It had a lot of love that was shared here with you. And then it just, I don't know if it stopped or, but I kind of see you forced out of it. Almost like I don't have a choice. I have to move on, kind of a thing. Um, hmm. so I'm not sure exactly what happened here. Let me do the hangman.
The King of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. Yeah. Having to go through this process, and it's it's like in whichever way you put it and turn it and twist it, you're kind of still aware, in full awareness of, I have to go through this process. I can't hide from it. And it's the process of loss. Um, you may not want it to be there. And beyond this process, there's still that love that connects to you and whatever the situation is here. So you're kind of trying to still hang on to that, but really acknowledging I have to go through this and really going through it, you know, in whichever way you did here. Um, and I feel like you still kind of are in that process a little bit. You're not completely done with it. It may be a very long one, you know. Um, let's do the Knight of Cups in the current situation. There is the Magician with Clarity, the Magician, the Page of Wands, the Knight of Swords. You're you're pulling some energy. You're, I don't, hmm, what is this? Because it feels like expectation. It feels like I wish that person would pay more attention to me, or I wish that you know you're you're trying to pull on energy towards you. Um, <sighs> manifestation doesn't really function in that way you're trying here this is more expectation than manifestation um i'm not sure i'm not sure and, and, and that's the thing i don't see a specific energy i kind of see it tied up possibly to a group um Let me do the Four of Cups. Yeah, it looks like you're trying to manifest energy coming towards you. Almost like the Law of Attraction, but it doesn't really work with people's free will. That's the thing, you know? Can't really... I don't know. Uh, Four of Cups. In the current situation, you get the Seven of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Three of Cups. It's, it's a little funny in how it shows up for me from here. I'm sure you're not taking it in a funny way, though. It's one of those where you're asking for something and you're giving something else, you're given something else that you may not want. Um, as you're trying to manifest, let's say, attention from that point, you get attention from that point and that point, you know. It's been in your life before. It's something that mm, I don't want it back, you know? <laughs> That's why it's funny from here looking at this because you're like, you're asking from here, but somehow you get it from here. And when this comes, it's like, oh, no, 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 no. Let me focus on asking from here more. It's That's why it's showing up chaotic in the immediate future because I feel like you're changing strategies Maybe you're bettering them. I don't know yet. I don't know. But um, not. I'm. I'm gonna be honest with you. Not the best manifestation experience right now. It's not showing up like that. Um, it's think of it as a computer error. You know, where I don't know. You're trying to work with something intensely and it gets blocked and then it kind of shuts everything down and it's like, oh shit. And when you, when you open it up, it opens up something that you don't need and it's it's in front of whatever it is that you're trying to pull out for you. And it's like, I, I can't even shut this down. I can't even, well, well, what's up with this? You move it to the side, it keeps on showing up. Kind of like that. Think of it like that a little bit. What is going on here? Let's do the Page of Cups. The Four of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Tower. That's the complete crash of the computer. Like the tower is like, okay, you're done here. You're done. 
what's interesting about it though is that I see you taking it easy. You know, I see you finally being like, okay, okay, let's accept things as they are. Let's try not to pull on energies here because that that kind of blew up in my face. So let's just, you know, take it one day at a time, easy, in the energy of acceptance if possible. And somehow it kind of blows up in your face. But it blows up in your face not because you're not doing it right this time around. But because there's some leftovers from here. This program right here is not done with you yet. Um, man. It, it's just manifestation gone wrong, basically. You know? Okay, let me see the magician in the immediate future. Maybe manifestation is going right this time around. Let's see. There it is. There's no more manifestation. There's less. Screw that. That didn't work out. Let's try a different way. Let's not manifest anything. Let's just be with what is and let's see what happens. Perfect. That's the exact place that you wanted to go here, but you didn't necessarily step into that energy fully, but here you are. Because you're looking at all of this here, and you're 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 kind of like, what 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 the hell just happened? Pretty upset about it too. And then you're like, screw it. Let's just be. Let's try to just be. No expectation, no manifestation, no programs going whack on me. Let's just be. And things change completely here. Uh, let's see into what? Let's do the Two of Swords. There it is. The High Priestess, the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. Because just being connects you to yourself. You're, you don't have to be here where here tells you what you think you want, who you think you want, how much attention you want, how much attention you don't want, who you want from your past, who you want from your future, who you want... It allows you to just be with what you feel. It brings you into the present, and that's exactly what's happening. There's a little bit of commotion here, but not much. Not much, just a little bit, because, you know, it has to be there. Um, you're human, after all. But overall, you're definitely stepping into oof, way better energies. Let's do the Five of Wands. In the immediate future, the Judgment card, the Ten of Cups, the Star. There's a little bit of frustration that shows up, because I feel like... Um, as you step into this present moment and it brings you into what you feel, you want to add to that a little more. You want to be like, you know what, I kind of want for this to last and I have to build on it. And I want to build on this emotion right here and it's beautiful and it's going to build beautiful energy. So you already have it set up for you in terms of what it is that you want. You've got the clarity for it, you know, as you step into this energy. And you know it's going to be a lot of work here on yourself first. And you know you're possibly going to have some conflict along the way. Because these energies right here, this broken computer right here, is going to keep on showing up for you. Because it's called life. You know? So you're becoming more and more aware, but more and more clear about what it is that you want. As long as you keep this intention clear, yeah, you're going to have breakdowns here. You know, all sorts of programs popping up, being like, hey, shut me down, I need to restart. You know? But... It is what it is. You can uh, definitely get to what you plan to get to as long as you keep clarity around it. And understand that sometimes some errors are going to appear. So, good. Woo. I'm glad to change that energy. Because I'm like, what, 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 what buttons are you pressing? What just happened? Let's see what the universe has to close it off. The Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so if you're in this error, computer error right here, um, you're coming out of it. Things are changing for the better here. Um, at least the energy for that is available. The minute you, you just kind of drop it, you're kind of like, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to put the computer away. And I'm, I'm, done. I'm done. I'm just going to sit here. Let's see what happens. The minute that happens, your whole energy shifts for the better. So, 
this was a little bit exhausting i'm not gonna lie uh this current energy but um that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye